Today's the day we're going to install the headset. And uh, let's see how easy it goes. This is an FSA, I think, Orbit headset. FSA Orbit and Anodized Green. Focus. And the first thing I'll do is put a little grease inside the, the head tube that I'll make, pressing it in a little bit easier and make sure that it seats all the way. And while I'm doing it, if there's any sharp edges, I will file them down. But I think we're going to be good. going to take the upper and lower cups I'm going to pull the bearings out that way I don't hurt them with the press I'm going to position the, the writing where I want it. I mean, this one's pretty simple because the FSA goes all the way around, so I'll just position them side by side. And I have my fret press right here. And there's the, the cup with no bearing in it. The top one, I was trying to pull that out of there, and the bearings in it with the seal didn't slide out as easy as the bottom one did, so I think we'll be fine. Just positioning the press and making sure the headset cups are where I want them before I start squeezing. Looks like I'm going to have to come down, slide it up another notch. Ah, there we go. You can put grease on the on the walls of the headset too. But I think I'm going to be fine. Make sure everything is pretty square and straight. If it's a little off, the headset press will press it through. Yeah, it's going in nice and smooth. Uh, 
Um, I just get it to where it presses here. I might give it an extra, an extra, whatever, an extra bump, an extra little bit of the press turn. And what I've noticed with, like I could tell that one stopped, this one's got just a little bit. And yeah, that looks good. And you want to check around the whole distance. Make sure everything is sitting flush. And I will just give it an extra there. Got the logos on the sides around looking good. If you didn't have a headset press, you can get threaded rod at almost any hardware store. Big nuts, uh, a stack of thick washers. And you can always do the old school method with a block of wood. Um, this is a steel frame, so the block of wood, rubber mallet, big enough carpenter's vise. You can get it done multiple different ways. Big C clamps with some sort of flat plates but i'm fortunate to where i have the park headset press and i know on amazon they do sell lesser expensive headset presses all right now it's time to put the uh the race for the headset on and uh, this uh, sometimes you need a slide hammer for sometimes you know if it was a ball bearing headset you would need the slide hammer um, most sealed cartridge sealed cartridge headsets they usually just have a slide on collar slide on bearing race and the grease is for well it's really to help the race slide on if it's a press fit i'm just going to use my head tube here as a uh, holder here's the there's the bearing race, and this is going to slide down. A lot of times they have a little separation in them, so they slide over. And uh, So yeah, this one here, I will have to break out my slide hammer. This here is a park slide hammer. It slides over the yeah, it slides over the stair tube. You can use um, any sort of pipe that sits on top of the race. And um, if this was a ball bearing headset, you'd You'd want to be careful sliding so you don't really mar up the bearing surface because this is going on a cartridge bearing and it's aluminum that's bound to get marred. And you keep going until it sits flush. Like right now it's on the crooked side. And then what I'm going to end up doing is coming around and cleaning it up. There we go. And they'll let me go get a rag and a something to clean up my mess.
So I got a piece of steel wool. I got a, a rag. I'll go around with the rag and I will clean up any of the filings. This is because it marred up the aluminum some. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Looking good. Now with a sealed bearing headset, you really don't need to grease anything but to put it back together. But I like to put a little grease here it keeps down any of the um, potential creaking uh, I'll put a little in here where the bearing sits same reason creaking um, this top one doesn't come out as easy as the bottom one did so I'm just going to leave it this here is the basically dust seal for down on the fork and it keeps all the dirt out of the bottom of the sealed that's it. That should keep some of the creaking down. go now I'll slide it in and I've got some headset spacers and I have a uh, black FSA stem that I will just put on to hold it all together here's the FSA stem that I have this is the rest of the headset parts here's your compression ring that goes inside here once the fork is on or in and uh, so we'll go compression ring Headset top cap. And this will help to hold it. set spacers for now I'll figure once the build goes on we will figure out exactly where I want that I thought for sure I was gonna have to cut the stair too but it doesn't look like I'll have to which is a good thing and then here is your top cap from state it already came with the star nut in the fork so that's nice because I won't need to use the star nut um, star nut installation isn't super hard a lot of times you're able to just use the nut itself screwed into here and then you tap it in straight and you make sure it's down about five eight millimeters 
the spork already came pre-installed with a, it's a really nice FSA top cap. Once the bike is on the ground with wheels, there you go, seal bearing headset. I'm happy I went with the green. I wasn't sure how the shiny green was going to go with the rest. And uh, yeah, that came out really nice. Um, stem i'm not sure if i'm going to be using or not it's what i have it's holding it together i'm pretty sure i'm going to use it because it all comes down to whether it's too long or too short and um, still looking for handlebars still waiting for my wheels to come in and uh, get those built up yeah little by little we're going to get this thing together and can't wait to go rock it.